Well, hello, good morning. How you doing this Friday morning? I need to turn my light on over there. There we go. It is Friday. Let's see, Friday. Oh my goodness, Friday, March the second. It is March already. Time flies, doesn't it? So, uh, how you doing this morning? My name's Tom Rigsby. This is Seven Minutes in the Morning, where we spend remarkably somewhere around seven minutes together each weekday morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Do uh, me a favor and uh, do just like George and Joe have already done. Drop me a comment. Say hi. Good morning. How you doing? Your head looks funny. I don't care. Whatever it is. Just let me know that you're here. And you can do that whether you're watching live with those guys or you're having to catch it on the replay. Either way is cool. And if you are listening on your favorite podcast catcher from iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, or wherever, head on over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. You can uh, join the conversation, see all those uh, comments, leave your own, even watch back episodes of the show. It is Friday today. I get sound effects working here. How do I do that? I don't know. To get my office assistant working on that, if I can get her to wake up. Um, anyway, Friday, that means it's free coaching Friday and I've got the hoodie on. That means it's cold outside. And, uh, so got the heater going though. It's all good. All right. So this week we've been talking about, I'm looking at my outline over here on the whiteboard been talking about creating the life you crave and some of the things that play into that. Um, creating control, creating a vision, a system, having a system. So all of this stuff kind of wrapped up together this week. Uh, this is kind of how I'm going to use free coaching Friday this week. Uh, w- one is to talk about overwhelm, and then two is to talk about what freedom really means. So overwhelm, and this was a question that I got during the week. And that's, as I like to say, one of the things I'd like to hit on free coaching Friday are the questions. Hey, Keith, good morning to you, sir. So it's very easy. I actually had this conversation Wednesday night. Also, it's very easy to see lots of opportunities and quickly become overwhelmed at the volume or Take every suggestion, and before you know it, you've got this giant thing you're trying to do and not doing any piece of it well, not making the progress that you wanted, and that's where overwhelm begins to kick in. The really simple way to do this, remember, simplicity, this is a long chain, but just trust me, simplicity is the path to happiness. Okay, I'll go ahead and give you the whole chain. Happiness is a result of progress. Progress is movement toward a goal. Progress is a result of execution. Complexity is the enemy of execution. Therefore, complexity is the enemy of happiness. So, simple equals happy. See, I told you it was a long chain, but we got there. All right, so when you begin to feel overwhelmed, look at that outcome you're trying to create that you want to get to. And what's one step you can take today to move toward that. Don't worry about all the tasks and to do's. What's the one thing that's going to move you toward that? And then as soon as that thing is done, ask that question again and do it again and begin to develop the skill of focusing on the items that move you toward that goal. All right. That's overwhelm. Number two is freedom. Here's the big thing. <clears throat> and up on my wall, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven little vision board chart graphs picture pictograms up there of the the seven different um areas where I want to create freedom this also came from a conversation this week freedom comes with responsibility right and there's and this could very quickly digress into a political debate which I'm going to try to avoid But the reality is that absolute freedom comes with absolute responsibility. When we begin to abdicate some of that responsibility, we necessarily are giving up some of that freedom. Right? It's it's just, that's the way that it works. If you want to create a freedom lifestyle, if you want to create a business, if you want to 
get out of the trap of living the life that other people define for you. I mean, it, it doesn't matter if you are a business owner. Yeah. And George says, Hey, so, Hey, here's some, some, uh, food for your daily dialectic, uh, George, which by the way, put a, uh, well, George is on Facebook. Look up George on Facebook. He stimulates some very, very interesting conversations. <laughs> um, now I forgot where I was going with that. Whether, okay. So whether you are a business owner, whether you're an employee, doesn't matter where you are, right? The, the context of freedom can apply to you, right? And we very often hear this demand for more freedom or a desire. Oh, I wish I could have more free time, right? I wish I could take a vacation whenever I wanted to. I wish I could, you know, not have to go to work today. All of those things are desires for freedom and you can have that. In almost every case, it's, it's a choice for you to have that, but you just have to recognize that freedom comes with responsibility. I can free you of needing to go to work today, but you may also have gained the responsibility of figuring out how to feed your family because they'll fire you. Right. I mean, it's a balancing thing. Right. And so we are constantly throughout the history of mankind been looking for a way to balance freedom and responsibility. So when it's just like courage and fear, right? Remember courage cannot exist in the absence of fear. So when you ask for courage, right? And you look and say, you know, Lord, give me courage. You are asking to be afraid. Just remember that when you, so when you are asking for freedom, you are also asking for responsibility. Don't, don't be surprised when it shows up. When you get the freedom you are asking for and responsibility shows up. Hey, Glenda, good morning to you. Glad that you are here also. Hey, listen, if you are a guy and you are in the Huntsville, Alabama area, I know where you need to be today at 1130. Terra Nova's on, uh, oh man, what's the name of that street? It's off of University Drive, west of Target. Uh, the men of business are meeting today at 1130 there. I will be there. I'd love to see you there. Just drop by and join us. Uh, your only responsibility <laughs> in showing up is that you pay for your own lunch. That's it. That's all. I'll take care of everything else, but uh, it'd be awesome to see you there. It's today at 1130 at Terra Nova. Send me a message if you need more info on that. If you are not in the Huntsville area, sorry, you should consider coming the first Friday of every month. That's when we have the meeting. All right. That's it for today. Thank you all so much for being here and for joining me. Uh, George, I will go ahead and waive any copyright, uh, that I have to the question. <laughs> if you want to use that, uh, it'll be awesome. I'll look for that to show up here someday. All right. You guys have a fantastic weekend. I'll be back again on Monday with another brand new installment. Seven minutes in the morning. You guys take care. <laughs>